Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Y Gaming. Today what we're going to be doing is checking out the dirt track. This thing is so much fun. If you do have the dirt bike, well, the motorbike DLC, you'll get even more fun out of this. But just with the moped alone, you can have loads of fun in this area. Especially if you're playing with a group of friends, head straight on over there, have some races. It is loads and loads of fun. Now, what we're going to do is take on new bikes over there. We are going to be using the DLC bikes as well. So, um, people, if you're still unsure of the DLC, then you will get to see them. We'll do that towards the second part of the video. The dirt bike track location is just here, right above this new outpost. And it is awesome. The outpost itself features loads of stuff that you can play around with with the bikes. So, definitely go and check that out. Before we jump in, subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video, I greatly appreciate it. If you do want to support us a little bit further, please consider becoming a member. Let's jump in and check out the dirt bike track. And our first contender on the track is the moped. This thing is positively shit. It's probably going to do really, 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 really bad. And we're probably going to get around the track in around about eight minutes. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. Let's, let's give it a blast. Right, we're at the starting line, and I have a timer on my phone. I cannot for the life of me figure out how the hell to get a timer on the screen. Um, because, yeah, it, no, it's, yeah, no, never mind. Right, let's go. Three, two, one. God, look at that, and he's off. Look at that slow start. Here we go. Over the, over the top corner there, we'll go around, um, uh, uh, around the corner. Yep, yep, dip, 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 dip. And over the hill, here he comes, and we're going to hard right on the top of the hill. Oh, oh, not off the track, yep. I'm actually surprised that this works. I, um, I did go a little bit of off-road with the moped. It did not do well at all. It was very slow, very sluggish. But hopefully, on this track, I have a feeling we're going to hit probably, oh, if we can stay right in the middle of the track. You know when you come off, because it, it massively hits you, that... That um, sort of, like a nerf of speed, it's horrible. It really is. And it, it hits you pretty damn quickly. Even if you just go ever so slightly off. It's like there's a road, a, a, a tarmac road. Or I don't know how they've done it. But but yeah, if you, if you just slightly nudge off of the designated path, it slows you down almost instantly. And it, it's, a, it's a tough, tough hit as well. Right, we're, we're coming at a minute so far. I reckon we'll probably do this in maybe two, two and a half. It's actually a relatively big track. I'm glad they added it, though. So glad that they added this. It is such a cool little piece to the game, and it's so much fun. Come on, we got this, we got this. Oh, yes. I mean, this is going to be great. I've got a lot of ideas going into 2023, which involves the community a hell of a lot more than what I have this year. I've been a little bit quiet this year, which, um, you know, I've, I've had a lot going on, so it's not through. Boom! 1 minute 34.78 seconds. That was good. That was good. It handled well. Um, it was fun. Let's, let's, um, let's give it a couple of jumps and see what happens. No, nope, we're not going to give it a couple of jumps because this doesn't class as an actual road, which is a shame. As I was saying, I've had a bit of a, a tough year this year, outside of YouTube and, and life in general with family. A few people have are no longer with us, but um, I don't want to don't want to bring the video on a downer. So next year, hopefully, we will be much more. I'll be much more community involved, and um, it'll be a lot more fun. But the moped is certified, shockingly shit. Let's move on to our next bike. Next up is the Vactair military bike this thing is pretty much an all-round beast um it works really really well in all environments off-road on road under fire all of that good stuff it is so much fun to use i reckon this is going to be a hell of a lot quicker um i'm gonna put my money <coughs> pardon me i'm gonna put my money on around about one minute 22 seconds so three two one go <coughs> they're all slow off the line but here we go, up the hill, over the hill, whee! Um, it's a shame I'm not using control, because apparently you can actually control the... Oh my god, handling is a little bit slowly, which is it, it, that's definitely going to cause a couple of problems. Um, but on a control, I've heard that you can actually tilt the angle of your wheelies and, and stuff like that. Uh, which I've not actually tried yet, I will, I will give it a blast at some point. Oh no, we're coming off track here. Damn, that's not good, not good at all. <clears throat> Oh, and again. Oh, no. There we go. You've really got to get off that throttle when you're turning corners, because it, it just doesn't doesn't like it at all. Whereas the, the, the dirt bike, K 
can handle that. You can actually... Whoa, what was that? Ah, we touched ground as um, as I was turning. Okay. So we're at 53 seconds currently. Uh, we're going around. We're heading into the final straight. Oh, that was close. Oh, thank God we went straight through him. Oh, my God. Over the he These hills, are they're, they're tough, man. They're tough. They definitely hit hard. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought we were coming off there. Come on, come on, cross that finish line. Boom! One minute, 22.40 seconds. Yes, that was good. That was very, very good. But let's 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 give it some, some jumps. I mean, this is military bike. It's big, it's heavy. So, yep. Yeah. Um, we wouldn't have made that. We would have pretty much planked it. This one's always a good one. I've done this one with a dirt bike, and it actually can go quite well if you get it just right. It's just an all-round cool area here, though, isn't it? I mean, it looks awesome, it feels awesome, and it's just fun to play. Come on. Oh, yes, we made it. We made it. All right. That wasn't bad at all. Sweet as a nut. Next up, we have the Resistance Bike. This bike is just an all-round beast. Handling, brilliant. Speed, brilliant. And its resistance is average. It is quite a cool bike. It can go pretty damn quick. And just the decals on the thing are awesome as well. It is the Motstand Resistance Bike. This one is also part of the Weapon DLC pack. Now, let's jump on and see what it does. I think for this one, around one minute and... I'm going to say 16. One minute and 16. That's what I reckon. So, three, two, one, go. They're all so slow off the line. It is awful. But let's go over the first hurdle. Around the first very light bend here. This handles much better. Um, even off-road, it's quite good. So, that's, that's a good thing with this bike. The speed remains relatively consistent even off-road. So, it always helps. All right, over the tits. And around the U-turn. Come on, come on. I want to get 116. That's my. That's the target. 116 or lower. And that's, that's, that is quite a tough one. All right, tits mark two. Here we come. We've definitely stayed on the road a hell of a lot more than we did with the military bike. But the military bike is just big, bulky, and does struggle with the corners. Although I have a feeling it might actually be faster on the straights than the resistance bike. It is currently looking that way. Because we're already at a minute. And we weren't at a minute when we got to this corner last time. We were around about 55 seconds. So it looks like we could be a few seconds slower on the resistance bike. Alright, tits mark three. Triple tits. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Bit sketchy there going around that corner. 1 minute 16 so far. We've already hit it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 1 minute 23.74 Okay, so the resistance bike is a little bit slower and we did come off the track quite a few times with the military bike Which actually quite surprising All right, let's um, let's have a little bit of a run around here on these uh, these ramps and the funky stuff We didn't get up this one on the military bike and we're not getting up it on the resistance bike either by the looks of it uh, they are just fun to play around on. Just this whole area is fun. And even with the base building aspect as well, you could add quite a few things to this. Like, very easily you could use scaffolding and stuff like that to make this a really cool little playground. Okay, it doesn't... See, I don't think top speed matches the military bike, which is definitely a big, big shame. I would have thought this would have a hell of a lot more speed than that military bike, but it doesn't seem so. I think still our champion will definitely be the... Yeah, we're missing out air as well. We're not getting any anywhere near as much air as I thought we would. I still think our champion is going to be the, the, the dual dirt bike. 100%. Right, we're at 55. Yeah, no, we're... Oh, we're falling short. With the military bike, we were landing next to both jumps. We even cleared that one, so... Yeah, okay, the resistance bike may not be all it's cracked up to be.
And last but not least is the dirt bike, the 150R, the Lejour. This thing, speed-wise, is unmatched. Handling, it can be quite tricky. The handling is very snappy, so let's actually see if we can get it around this track easy enough to actually beat a time. I do think possibly one minute. That is definitely reaching, but it could happen. So let's try it in three, two, one, go. Okay, so over the first hump, here we go. Let's get around this first bend. It handles much nicer. I mean, it's, it is it is quite snappy, though. It can just flick itself around, which is a pain in the ass. Especially when you're obviously trying to keep on a track here. But as you can see by the speed, we're sitting pretty at 70 kilometers an hour. Even coming through this this U-turn here. we got some hunters following us as well. Which, that's fine. Let's go over Tits Mark 1. Come on, come on. Can we do this? Can we beat the others? It's looking like it already. At this point... Oh, no! We were at a minute. We're at 50 seconds now. That bit of off-road was definitely not helpful there. I don't think we're going to be seeing a minute. See what I mean? How it's it's very snappy. If you try and turn when, you, when you're landing, it just flicks the arse end out. Which is always a problem. Right, can we beat our time? One minute. 21.50. So by the skin of its teeth, it is faster than the military dirt bike. Uh, the military motorbike, sorry. Which, actually quite shocking. I'm actually quite impressed with that. Some of it will always stand up, though. Will always be better is little bits like this. The jumps... The, uh, the quick turning, uh, the little tight and technical bits. So making, I do want to make an actual technical track, which I think will be really, really cool. Imagine, I can't remember the game, but you, oh, you're basically on a bike and you've got to jump up loads of random bits. Um, trials, I think it's called. Um, they need to change that, it's really irritating. Uh, something along those lines, using the actual bases. I think that could be a really, really cool feature. Could be fun to do, could go horribly wrong. Could waste loads of resources, but it'll be fun. They're definitely something that I'm looking into anyway. Right, let's hop over here and see. Look at that. Oh, mate, no one's standing in our way. Beast. <laughs> I lied. Last but not least is the push bike. This thing is... It is what it is. Now, I have a feeling we can do this track in around 35 minutes. Let's see what happens in 3, 2, and 1. Look at that, straight off the line. Can we even make it over the first hill? I don't think so. Okay, okay, all right. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised. You notice how we've actually got road... Uh, road. We've actually got car tracks on here as well, which is, is quite cool. Hmm, could potentially mean that we'd be getting a, a buggy of some sort, or maybe an ATV. Um, that would be quite cool. Now, this is definitely going to take a while. I think possibly four minutes, maybe? I don't know, but I just thought we've got to give the old push bike a bit of respect and a bit of love because it's been with us for a long time. It has served many great purposes. It's been it's just been a fun thing to actually play with, the dirt bike, uh, the uh, push bike. And you, you can you can have loads of fun on them. It It is useless now. It is very redundant. Um, if there are any people out there that still use it, let me know in the comments. I'd actually be really intrigued. So we're really struggling going up these hills. Oh, man. But we're just coming up to that first turn that leads into that last straight. Um, which we're doing all right, actually. We're, we're normally up that top end there at about a minute or between the 50 second and a minute mark. We're currently sitting at 1 minute 29. So, oh, it's not actually that bad. All right, come on. Look at that downhill, 50 nearly. Oh. Right, we're on the final stretch now. We're at 1 minute 47. So, do you know what? To be fair, that's faster than I thought. 
I honestly thought this would struggle like hell with the hills. But because it's an actual road surface, the bike can do it. If it was a normal off-road surface, the bike wouldn't be able to do it. It'd slow right down to between 15, 20 kilometers, and then it would be completely redundant. You wouldn't even make it up the hill. But we did it in 2 minutes, 10 seconds, 10.72 seconds. Now, on here, it is obviously completely useless because this is not classed as a road. So you, the best we're going to get out of it is 27, 28. Uh, we might end up pushing on to 29, but it's not going to be any good. As soon as we got one of these hills, it's just going to drop right down and then nothing's going to happen. Which is a big shame, really. Yeah, we didn't even make it over. <laughs> but it was fun while it lasted. I, I actually enjoyed going around the track and that. that was quite cool. Um, so if people do like the track, then please go over, have a go. It is loads of fun. Let the team know as well. We'll drop some comments down below, message them on Discord, because I think a couple more tracks like this around the map would be loads and loads of fun. I think one on Himfell could be absolutely amazing. Obviously, Himfell has been sort of forgotten since it was launched, and it's a shame, because it is a beautiful island. There's lots of stuff over there. If you haven't got that DLC, definitely check it out. For now, we are going to wrap that up, though. Um, if you have enjoyed, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. If you want to support us a little bit further, consider becoming a member. For now, I've been Wired, you've been awesome. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.